Galaxy. Oh, he's installing his phone. He's plugging in his phone. Oh, this might get this might get serious here in a second. Hold on. So I was taking a nap one day and I got a phone call on my Apple iPhone 12. It was Amazon and they were informing me that there's some fraudulent activity on my account and an iPhone 12 had been purchased. So I called them back and I got a hold of Richard Johnson. Richard does not work for Amazon. He's an Amazon refund scammer. His goal is to connect to my bank and transfer via Zelle as much money as he can. However, the only transfer he's gonna be doing is the transfer of his files into oblivion after we delete them from his computer. Water as well if you want to, okay? Um, could I do whiskey maybe? Yeah, sure. If you want to have a whiskey, you can simply have a whiskey as well. We're also going to show you his vantage point as he scams me. For those of you who are wondering, we are on his computer. So that's what you see over here is his computer screen. We'll tell you his location. I can do another command really fast and get where their location is, actually. There's their phone system. And we'll even scare the crap out of him when we lock him out of his own computer. I locked him out of the computer, so he can't move around or anything. Hey, freaking shut it down. Oh, boy. This one's got a lot of action, folks, so buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. Let's get into it. Thanks for calling Amazon. This side, Richard Johnson. How may I assist you today? Hi, Richard. Um, I'm actually returning um, a message about fraudulent activity. Uh, may I have your first name, please? Uh, yes, my name is Bertha. All right, Miss Bertha, just give me a moment. Let me pull up your records. Okay, uh, so Miss, I just diagnosed your Amazon account and it shows me that there's an order of iPhone 12 Pro oh, and wow. it will be the worth with $1,199. Oh, um, no, I actually did not do that. Can you please cancel that? Sorry, uh, you are saying that you are not the one who placed an order for it? No, how did that, how could that be? Oh, uh, okay, honey. Then you don't have to be worried about it. We are going to cancel that order for you. What we're going to do now is we are going to connect your device with our Amazon Secure server. We will definitely help you out to give you your refund as well, okay? Okay. Do you have a desktop PC with you? Uh, yes, you need me to go and turn that on? Open up the Google Chrome. Uh, hit on search Google, where it says search, hit on it. Hit on it? Okay. Um, did it hurt, Google, when you fell from heaven? <laughs> I'm just... Uh, you have to simply click on it. You have to simply click on search. Oh, okay. Okay, it says, let me see, any now, decks? That's correct. Hit on download now. All right, honey, now... Uh, now, what you will be able to see there over to your screen right now, may I know? Um, I just see, thank you for downloading any decks. Thank you for downloading any decks. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Now, just be there for a moment, okay? Let me have a word with my technical team and let me complete up the procedure, okay? Give me one minute, please, honey. Okay. All right. And in the meanwhile, you can simply have a glass of water as well if you want to, okay? Um, can I do whiskey, maybe? Yeah, sure. If you want to have a whiskey, you can simply have a whiskey as well. Uh, honey, may I know, uh, what's the last four digits of your debit card? I don't like to use cards because I don't think they're very secure. All right, honey, do one thing. Do you have a pen and a paper with you? Uh, handy. Because you have to write down some of... Uh, if that's correct, do you have a pen and a piece of paper with you so you can write down some of the important details regarding this case? Uh, yes. Now, honey, may I know how was your day today? I forgot to ask you about it. It was good. How was your day, sweetheart? All right. So you might be wondering why the scammer isn't raging right now or freaking out that the files are being erased. They've given us access to the computer, but they don't know that we're on the computer, if that makes sense. So they had to accept, but they didn't know that it was us. They thought that it was a part of them connecting to my computer, but we were connecting to theirs as well. So later on, they're going to realize that the files are gone and then they'll disconnect. But for right now, they have no idea. So your refund back to you, back into your account, okay? Did you hit on it? Yes, um, I hit on it. Hi, Zell, you look so beautiful. You want to go on a date? <laughs> you told me to hit on it again. <laughs> you are really a very funny. Oh, well, I'm funny and smart too, you know, like, bye bye. <laughs> you know, bye files. Now, I'm providing you my manager's name, so he will be able to transfer all of your funds back to you. Now, type it there, A-R. A-R. N as in Nancy. I as in Indigo. I as in India. Uh, okay. And after that, C as in Charlie. I as in Indigo again. Okay. I as in India again. Arniki. Who's Arniki? It's A as in Apple. It's Arnishio. Arnishio. The first okay. name is. Okay. Type it there, English. It's E N G L I S H. English. E, okay. E as an echo. 
N is in not going to see the files anymore. S is in Sam. Mm -hmm. H is in handy. That's correct. Okay. Now, at the very bottom of that page, there will be option says email address. Hit on it. Why am I putting my information? I'm not the recipient. I don't understand this. Because with the help of that, we will be able to verify as well. Okay. And after verifying it, right away, you are going to receive the $1,199 back to you. Okay. Now, use your checkings. Hit on the two option. Now, did you see there will be option says Ernisha English? Yes. Hit on it. You have to hit on it. Now hit on the amount section. There will be a section says amount. Okay, now type it there, the refund amount, which is 1199. Yeah, it looks like it says I'm sending money from my account to Arnisha. Uh, no, no, honey, you don't have to be worried about that. There wouldn't be going to be any kind of deduction from your end, okay? Do one thing. Uh, first of all, hit on the amount sections one again. Clear it out, the 1199. Yes. Type it over there, triple nine, which is 999. Triple nine. Okay, now after that, hit on continue. At the right side, there will be a activity center. Oh, there's an activity. I guess it hasn't cleared yet. All right, miss, then do one thing. Let's do it again. Uh, hit on the from option. But what is this? Who am I sending? the? It seems like I'm sending the money. No, no, honey, you are not sending to anyone else. You don't have to be worried about it, okay? Um, I don't know what's going on. It might not. Oh, yeah. Oh, I sent two. Oh, it said... It's a oh two. Oh my uh, okay. gosh. Then do no, one oh thing. my lord. Uh, what uh, is this? Don't. Oh my lord. Uh, you don't have to be worried about it. It wasn't going anywhere, okay? So you don't have to be worried about it that there will be any kind of money deduction from your account, okay? okay. Well, where is my refund? We will be able to proceed right. further with the refunds, okay? Okay. I just got the email regarding it from a technical team. Can, okay. can I put you on mute for a couple of moments so I will be have a word with them? Is oh. that okay for you? Of course. Okay, so uh, he's muted right now. Um, for those of you who are wondering, we are on his computer. So that's what you see over here is his computer screen. This Jacob following 935 is some account that they're using to launder the money through. I wiped away all the files that I could on this one account. It's not the admin account, unfortunately. I also tried to access his camera and it didn't work. I can do another command really fast and get where their location is, actually. I locked him out of the computer, so he can't move around or anything. But... He unplugged, I think. I think they're done. You are currently the only person in this. They shut it down, baby. <laughs> they freaking shut it down. Oh, boy. Well, okay, he's back on my computer. They're 100% still in it. So he shut down that computer. He 100% doesn't know that it was me doing this stuff to him. Everyone, we're, we're doing Zelle transfers. This is a fully freaking functional Bank of America. That's doing Zelle transfers. Hello? Yes, hello. This is Bertha. Uh, honey, I'm really sorry about that, that we got disconnected somehow. No, I, I'm getting very nervous. Can you please tell me what's going on? So, uh, do one thing. Log in with your bank account again, please. It says $999 mm -hmm. twice. You guys made me do that. And it's uh, processing. Correct, we made you do that, but it... It wouldn't going to be completed. That's only the verification amount. And that verification code wouldn't deduct you even a single cent or even a single penny from your account. Did you receive any kind of a confirmation message over to your phone as well? It just says uh, currently processing Zell transfer. That's all I got. And then I got a call from my bank. Hold on, my bank's calling me. Uh -huh. Should I should I get that? Yeah, sure. You can pick it up. And if you tell them that you are doing a business transaction, they will simply add up the 30% of the taxes. Tell them that it's for my personal use. That's it. Okay. And may I know, uh, can you do one thing? Put me on speaker and come back to your home screen. Uh, are you receiving any kind of call right now? May well, yeah, I know? My, my bank was calling me, but you keep talking to me. Do I pick up the phone or do I go... You can pick up the call. And if we got disconnected, I'm the one who's calling you back again. I don't know what to say at that point. I was starting to laugh. I don't think people understand the gravity of what was just done here. What we've done here to spoof Bank of America and the Zelle account on top of it. They had us put in a Zelle information. We're, I'm going to give that information to the to the feds. And we've downloaded his history on Google Chrome. We've downloaded his uh, some of his files. We deleted probably three or 4,000 files. Thanks for calling Amazon. This side, Richard Johnson. 
Yes, Hello? I'm looking for Richard Johnson, CB10135. And let me transfer your call to him. Your call has been transferred to Richard Johnson. Hello? Hi, Richard. This is Bertha. Did you have a word with your bank? Uh, yes. Um, they were telling me that there's uh, fraudulent activity on my account. Oh, my God. Then do one thing first of all. Log in with your bank account and check it out. No, well, they told me that there was a um, there was fraudulent activity, possibly. I said, no, it's not. It's I, I know this guy. His name's Richard Johnson and that it's a refund. Uh -huh. And then they said that uh, they were going to give the email address to the government just to, to track it for any kind of fraudulent activity moving mm -hmm. forward. I told them that you guys owed me money, so I'm, wait I'm still waiting for that mm -hmm. money. Oh, okay. Log in with your bank account. Is there any kind of... Um, Amount has been deducted. No, oh, I. I mean, I, I. I've told you this multiple times, sweetheart. It's still processing. Uh -huh. But where? Mm -hmm. Where is my? My. I'm supposed to be getting a refund. They told me that that we are having an issue regarding that. That your bank is not verifying it. Once the confirmation will be given from your bank, we will be able to directly initiate the refund into your bank account. We are also waiting for the confirmation. Do you want me to three-way the bank in? Uh, no, no, no. You don't have to worry about it. Can you sign out your bank and log in again? Okay. It seems to me like that it will take around 50 to 20 minutes to get the confirmation from the bank. So in the meantime, you can simply have a lunch if you want to, okay? All right, I put them on mute. They don't know what to think right now. They have no idea what to think. Like, they're playing super into my hands right now. I don't know why this guy just keeps putting us on mute. They're waiting for... Uh, they're waiting for the thing to come through. Galaxy. Oh, he's installing his phone. He's plugging in his phone. Oh, this might get this might get serious here in a second. Hold on. I'm gonna record this. Land messenger. If anybody else sees anything that's worthwhile. I don't really see anything. I mean, we can delete all his program files. I know it's kind of dorky, but I'll show you like there's their phone system. They're in Delhi. Like he might they might have turned their computer off, actually. Yep, they turned it off. As you can see, joy to the world. Yeah, the scammers are gone. They shut down their computer right away. They unplugged the power cable because I blocked their input on the any decks. They disconnected twice because all the files are gone and I'm not playing nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, you missed that call live. <sighs> You need to join us live on YouTube live streaming right on the channel here. Just go to YouTube on the channel and click on it or go to Twitch. We're on Twitch too. twitch.tv slash scammer payback. Just follow both of them. You'll get the notifications. You'll see everything live, all the full calls, all the hilarity. It's amazing. We'll see you there.